Change won't come easy. The euphoria of a year ago is dissipating. The struggles of the first year of the Obama administration are generating increasing demoralization and anger. Many progressives thought we'd taken back America with the election of 2008, but in reality, the work had only just begun. In fact, the president has been bolder than many expected, summoning the country to address fundamental challenges it can no longer afford to ignore. Yet the ambition of Obama's vision has been accompanied by a marked caution in conception and execution. Most surprising has been the reluctance to engage the right boldly in the war of ideas. Obama has a rare ability to frame the contrast with the right to counter its market fundamentalism with a compelling statement of our shared values. Yet Democrats have been having policy debates on the public option on cap and trade, on systematic risk regulation, while Republicans and the resurgent right are waging an argument about values and ideas on liberty and free markets, freedom and small government. The default complements an insider congressional strategy that prefers backroom compromise and, of course, the entrenched corporate complexes that feed off public sub subsidies and a corrupt Congress. The result is that even when historic reforms like health care emerge, they're so battered that supporters end up rightly dispirited. Democrats face going into the 2010 midterm election with double-digit unemployment, rescued bankers awarding themselves million-dollar bonuses, rising casualties in Afghanistan, the right mobilized and progressive activists dismayed. If Republicans score major victories in the election, the administration will become more cautious, not less. Clearly, if we're not to squander the best opportunity for progressive reform in 30 years, something will have to change. President warned that change wouldn't come easy. From the start, the administration devoted energy and resources to organizing a unified base of activists. But Obama aides, led by Rahm Emanuel, argued fiercely against going after the Democrats, blue dogs, new Dems, who were impeding reforms, and the White House chose not to mobilize its base to pressure them. Groups were often blindsided by backroom deals like the one with the drug companies that sustained the ban on negotiating lower drug prices. One unintended consequence, populist anger has been channeled by the right, not the left. This country is now enmeshed in a fierce debate about its future. Can we summon up the will and the majorities needed to meet the critical challenges we face, or will we sit it out, angered and demoralized? This is Katrina Vanden Heuvel for Grit TV.